What's going on guys, it's Austin from 3GuysTech and I'm here with a quick video on the iPhone 5. Now whether it's going to be called the iPhone 5 or the new iPhone, it doesn't really matter but let's get into the video. Alright so with the new iPhone 5 we're going to be expecting a lot of new features, let me see. Um, so we're going to be getting NFC, faster processor, new stuff, blah 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 blah. But what does it look like? Now I know uh, that's mainly what most people are asking, but anyways, we've seen a lot of pictures with the new iPhone. So to fit it in a thinner design, they're gonna come out with this new 19 pin dock connector. It's gonna be a little bit thinner than the 30 pin dock connector connector that we're all used to but it's also featured to have a little MagSafe feature you guys know if you have a MacBook Pro it has the magnetic kind of lock onto the phone so that'll be a good feature that we see along with the thinner design I'm sure you've seen pictures it's gonna have kind of a two-tone metal back now I kind of like this design I don't like the actual two-tone design but I do like that it's gonna be made out of metal because there's been so many cases where people have dropped their iPhone and we all know it's made out of glass at least the back portion so that'll break easily so with the new metal design it should be a little bit more sturdier and it's also reportedly going to fix some antenna issues that uh, many of you guys are having with your iPhone 4 and 4s's now the screen size I'm 99% certain that it's going to have at least a 4 inch screen uh, we're just not sure quite in terms of 4 point what uh, if you see the new Galaxy Nexus the Galaxy Note uh, it's probably going to be around 4.3 so we're not going to get that huge uh, screens that we see in most Android devices today, but they're probably going to be around 4.3 inches is a sweet spot just so they can try to keep uh, the pixel density that all their new devices are famous for, like the Retina Display MacBook Pro, Retina Display iPad, Retina Display iPhone. So it's going to be probably around 4.3 inches uh, with a, oh, that's weird. Uh, with a um, retina display so I'm not sure exactly what the pixel density will be but I'm pretty sure it's gonna look good regardless now on price uh, we're not exactly sure but it's probably gonna be the same prices that we've been seeing that the new iPhones have been releasing at but honestly does it really matter you're gonna buy it anyways so all in all faster processor hopefully we'll be getting a better camera the camera on the iPhone 4s is already pretty damn good with the 8 megapixel camera um, more RAM is what a lot of people need with the multitasking. Uh, same storage options, we'll get 16 to 64 gigabytes. A6 processor, we'll probably be seeing that in the new iPhone. And an all around thinner look. It's going to be the same squares design, but it's going to be a lot taller and a lot thinner to uh, encompass that bigger screen size. So we're just going to have to wait and see. If you guys want to see more updates with this, just let me know in the comments below. And to you know, get all my latest updates, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as it really helps the channel out. This has been awesome from 3GuysTech. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next one.